Hey there, it's Zarati. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be training some pop of colors, and I'm super excited because this is one step to me overcoming my fears. Starting off with my brows, using my Tara eyebrow pencil to line and fill in my brows. Also, having in mind to keep my brows as natural as possible. Using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fun to highlight my brows to give it that defined popping look. Using my blending brush to blend out the highlighted parts on my brow bone to give it a smooth finish. Then I'll be going in with my No Liquid Glow Highlighter to pop the face. This time around I'll be using my beauty sponge to blend in the liquid glow into my skin because I realize it like goes into the skin and like really makes it glow from within. <laughs> And I keep blending in, blending it into my skin. Blend, blend, and blend. For my foundation, I'll be using the Twerk foundation in the shade 160. And I'm applying it with a pipe because I'm almost out on the shade. Then I go in blending in the foundation into my skin to achieve that flawless look. So we blend and we blend and we blend, 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 and we keep blending, blending to so we'll blend it out into the skin. To highlight my face, I'll be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and Tara Pro Concealer in the shade 07, and I'll be highlighting under my cheek, my cupid bow, under my chin the center of my nose and my forehead using the early gear pro concealer and the shade dark cocoa i'll be contouring under my cheekbones my hairline and the bridge of my nose i like to sprinkle a little bit of my nuban silit spray or my noy black beauty contour brush because it gives me that moist feeling and it also helps the blending process easy and keeps the product locked into my skin and I'll be using my beauty sponge to blend out the highlighted parts on my face and I like to start from the parts where I have less products which are my chin, my cupid bowl, the center of my nose, my forehead before I go right underneath my eyes also making sure that I blend out the edges very well to avoid any harsh lines. And I also use the beauty sponge to go around the contoured part on my face to blend out any harsh lines. Using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder, I'll be setting around the highlighted part on my face. This helps the creamy product stays locked into my skin and I like to bake just underneath my eyes and apply my Zaron loose powder on the other parts of my face
Now I'm going into the favorite part of this look using my Tara eyeshadow in Margaret Epo. I'll be using the orange color as a tra transitioning color. Then I'll be getting with the burgundy color to intensify my crease. And then again, I use my blending brush to blend out the edges to give it that smooth finish. Now, if you know me very well, you know I'm a lover of cut crease. So I'll be cutting my crease with my Tara eyeshadow primer. So let's cut it. Cut it. <laughs> then I'll be going in with the deep green color in my Tara eyeshadow palette to apply on my eyelids using the tap, dab tap technique. At this point, I don't know what look actually I was trying to achieve, but <laughs> I think I was trying to do a replica of green white green the Nigerian color but hey I'm just trying to overcome my phobia for colors so just enjoy the video <laughs> then at this point I'll be applying the light yellow color in the eyeshadow palette to give it that popping look then I'll be blending in the green and the yellow color into each other to avoid that demarcation line so that my eyeshadow can look as smooth as then. I'll be going in with the dark purple into my crease to give it that more intensified look and then again I blend it out. Using my Re Technique brush to brush out the excess setting powder underneath my eyes. For that perfect winged eye, I'll be using my Penipo liquid eyeliner to achieve that perfect winged eye. <laughs> also using my Penipo eyeliner to apply under my waterline <laughs> and this part gets me so ticklish. For my lashes, I'll be using the Get Lash by Oma in Aminu. Then I'll be going under my eyes with the deep purple which I applied on my crease. Then for my highlights, I'll be using the Kylie by Bear Highlights. And my highlight is popping. Oh, oh, you see that glow? Oh. To line out the outer corner of my lips, I'll be using the classic lipstick in the burgundy shade. And I also apply the So Clear Matte Lipstick in the shade Stainless to achieve my desired ombre lip. To seal it up, I'll be using the Nuban Beauty Seal It Fixing Spray. And voila, we're done. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment. Mwah!